Who says the 70s weren't cool? There was outlaws and groovy chicks. I think they're missing a word there to keep David busy in this great... Great finds, the 70s came in with a toaster and a little bit of David Cassidy and some Jim Beam, 175 months old. So anyway, mid-century, this is probably mid-century stuff. These are probably from the 70s. This is from 1972, are really hot. You know, they want to decorate their kitchens with kind of the mid-century feel here. Do you know what this is? If you don't know what this is, you probably don't remember when the internet was not around and calling on cell phones was something you saw in the Jetsons. This is an ice maker. No, it's not. This is this is a traditional way to make ice. That way you go to the refrigerator and it just pumps out some ice. This is a General Electric Mini Cube ice maker. Yes, a Mini Cube. It's made out of aluminum. Although those cubes look gargantuan, you'd put your, your water in there, you would close this in, you would put that in, and when you're ready, how do we get the ice out? Well, look at this handy little lever. That handy little lever, do a little shake, and all your ice cubes would be there. Now, about 10 years ago, these were super, super hot. Um, you can still get, you know, 10 to $20 for these. They're, they're pretty cool, but they're not as hot as they used to be, but they are very awesome and these are mini cubes you could you could you could actually do a history lesson on the ice cube if you wanted to it probably wouldn't be a long lesson but hey if you remember how to do this you are old now i got these two things in as well now these are aluminum there's you can you can see the theme here these are two ice cream scoops um depending on you know your preferred method this one would scoop and you know push that out so that would that would be handy but then some of the ice cream would get in here this is aluminum that is not marked with anyone's name this is more for home use but it's still cool it looks great who doesn't like ice cream i know david cassidy did this this is if you've ever been to 31 flavors you recognize these things these things are industrial they're cool they don't even this this is how you scoop ice cream they would stick these in water and scoop you up one of your 31 flavors yep one of your 31 flavors at one time kids baskin robbins was a standalone shop yes and this is what you would get and it's a piece of aluminum it's a piece of history it's pretty cool now i know you probably don't want to talk about toasters but why not we all love toast you know bob if there is one thing that starts me off on the wrong foot it's having to wait for toast at breakfast this is a toast master yes toast master it masters toast it is an automatic toaster i i don't know what that means i think this seems pretty manual to me but hey it that's what it says you can get lighter or darker depending on which you would like it does have this cool symbol on the side it's the toast master it does work i did plug it in i didn't make toast with it but i did Feel the heat in here now stainless steel that's you know when you can see my reflection see um it does get handprints on it but this looks cool in a retro if you're going to retrofit your kitchen this is pretty awesome it's a toastmaster i still think one of the greatest inventions would be a clear toaster so we could see before we pop up and then we pop down pop up pop down but that's i'm not tesla the next thing I have is a Jim Beam 175-month-old bourbon. There's no bourbon in here. But Jim Beam, they really knew how to sell their bourbon. Bourbon is the only spirit that is native to America. It was invented in Kentucky. It is whiskey, but it's bourbon whiskey. And it's the only American spirit we have. You can tell by this avocado green. This is the 70s. If you have pic old pictures from the 70s there's probably a refrigerator or something or a stove that's kind of a little more pea green than this i it was it was hot at one time and they made all kinds of different ones now what did they make of this one well look at this you can see 
this. It comes in a nice velvet case from Kentucky. It is genuine regal china. It is handcrafted. You can see it's 175 months old. There it is as well. Now, and you can see that this is kind of a genie bottle. And if you were around in the 70s, this should remind you of I Dream a Genie. What a cool piece. To, I, I think I, you could even take the stickers off and just sit it there. There is no bourbon in it. There is a giant cork. Well, so the genie can't get out. And that is a cool piece. The presentation. The presentation. Jim Beam, you really stepped up your game in a velvet box. It's awesome. Now, one of the last things I got is just kind of a fun piece. It's a David Cassidy, who is no longer with us, unfortunately. Um, comic. It's a comic book. It was only 20 cents. Now, Outlaws, Groovy Chicks, and a bit keep David busy. A bit, I, feel, I feel like they're missing a word there. Busy in this great issue. Of course, he was part of the Partridge family. Very, very successful show here. And this is just, it's kind of an interesting, the comic. You can get David's private photo album so everyone could get it. I don't know how private that would make it at that point. You know, you 25 cents for handling. How awesome would that be? And you just send it to David Offer. He was he was like Madonna or Cher. You didn't even need his last name. That's cool. But I looked at the comic and it's it's David as a cowboy. He's just a cowboy. He's going to different things and David's triangle. Oh, and this is where you can win a date with David. Now that's cool. This is more the Partridge family and the outfits. All super awesome. Five dollars for twelve big issues. Eight fifty for twenty-four. I don't think you can beat that price. There's David with the long hair. And then of course you can sing along with your favorites. And I can't really remember a David song, but well, I think I love you. So one of my sword they I know he was very popular. Song Hits Magazine, Pop, Soul, Country. Do you know who that guy is? Do you know who that guy is? That song hits. That is Sweet Caroline. That is Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond was super cool at one point. But we can see David. He is, of course, on the beach and doing different, thing, different things. And then, of course, he's back to the Partridge family. There's an interesting outfit that you won't see today. And star address book. You could you could get a star's address book at one point. You just send away and they send it in the mail and say, Hey, stalkers, I cut out all the hard work for you. Here's a little address book. They don't do that anymore for obvious reasons, but they did back then. And David, I, I haven't seen this, but I know David is going to... Oh, there's David again. He, he, he was a ladies' man. There's, you could get super love stickers for your letters, lockers, mirrors, and wall. 500 for only a dollar. 500. Gosh, what a bargain, David. And of course, the David Choker Love Beads. Make and wear choker beads like David does. Well, I don't think anything better than wearing choker beads that David does. And he has an illustrated instruction sheet. Yeah, how to put those on. Everything's a dollar in this book. And there's a book about the dynamic David Cassidy. You get four autographed portraits. Of course, what autographed portrait wouldn't be suitable for hanging? And pick your pick of David. You can get an autographed picture. You can get this one. You can get number two, number three, or number four. Yes, it's true. You can have David's autographed photo for your wall, locker, home, or whatever you may have. Now, it's the only, there's the color picture of David. David is no longer with us. He was a teen idol back in the day, but they did have a David Cassidy phone book. And if you really, really like David, you could, of course, send away for his address. So that's pretty awesome. So, is, is there a lot of worth in these things? What is worth the most? Is it the toaster? You can still get toast today. Is it the Jim Beam bottle? This here, 
these or is it David? Well, David, this this comic is just a nostalgic item. There's not really a lot of sales in these 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 are just pretty common. You can get a couple bucks for these because these are just fun to look at. Plus, he has a nice smiley face. Which one's going to sell for more? We're looking at the, only about a $10 range here. You know, $10, they're cool, but you know, how, how often do you do an ice cream? It's not like you're putting this on the shelf at home or putting in a display case. That's what you've got to think of. These, a couple years ago, were going for huge, huge money. Uh, now they're going for about... 15 to 20 dollars and there's still a lot of sets in here because they are functional they are cool because people want to make ice the old-fashioned way yes i believe the recipe is on the bottom now the toaster some some of the older toasters go for big money but the toastmaster the toastmaster has he is yet to hit his peak even though he is the toast master um he has not hit his peak he's just a regular price old toaster but if you want an old toaster and it's super shiny and you can you could probably you know see yourself in there it's, it's like a mirror it's like a mirror so it's a dual function toaster um we're looking at 15 to 20 dollars here now this one jim beam if you had the genie it would be priceless there is no genie in here i checked but these Jim Beam bottles, they are collectible, and this, this would appeal to actually a few different collectors because this would look good on a shelf. The presentation box is awesome, and these go for about 25 bucks. So we don't have a lot of worth that came in today, but if you add everything up and you can get the history of things, you can make a little bit of money because a little bit, a little bit, a little bit does eventually equal a lot. So I want to appreciate you watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please like, share, and if I got anything wrong, let me know. And David, we miss you. Thanks.